today is Thursday, September 19. So originally I was supposed to have a class today at like 9, but it got cancelled. So today I don't have any class. I think I'm just going to edit my videos until my lunch time. I also have a club meeting today later in the evening. Today's video is probably me just trying to spend some time alone and enjoying my own company. So I was basically just editing for a few minutes and now I'm gonna go eat lunch. It is currently 11.15 and I am already hungry. I'm gonna study physics a little bit and I'm gonna go out to take a walk, I think. So I'm basically um, deciding recipes for next week lunch and breakfast. So I'm trying to think of anything that I can make with ham, egg, and cheese. that the water here is very hard so uh, my hair is not really doing well some soft baked cookies I have a lot of things that I bought from Great Value I love chocolate chip cookies It's one hour before my meeting and I'm just, you know, in a journal here. Hi, I'm back with another voiceover and I just wanted to talk about what I write in my journal because I feel like that's such a big part of my life. So mainly, I usually just write out the feelings and the things that I did for each day. I also sometimes draw pictures and drawings. And if I have like tickets for the train or like subway tickets, then I also stick that and glue it right on the page. And I also like to have different pages dedicated to specific topics. For example, I got inspired for this from an Instagram reel, but I basically collect stickers. There's also a page for my guitar practicing sessions where I drew like the chords for guitar. I also have some pages dedicated to the books that I read, the reviews, the thoughts that I had while reading this book, and sometimes I also have some dramas and movies here and there. I think mainly I am so scared of forgetting. I am I like to have all my pictures, I don't want to delete them, so I do have a habit of hoarding to memories and I think I'm just trying to let that go through my journaling. That's part of the reason why nostalgia comes so important to me and 
remembering back to different memories just really holds a special place in my heart, I guess. I still think that journaling can really help me process things better and have a better understanding about myself and who I am. I think it's also important to just keep a record of the days, just these mundane days that will feel like the good old days in the future, I guess. So I think I did a lot of journaling today. I finished my journal entries for August. I'm gonna go to the meeting now. I'm kind of scared. I don't really like social gatherings. And I'm going by myself, so I don't know anyone there probably. It's a little scary. Just some introvert things. I'm gonna go to the meeting now. I'm so hungry. My meeting just ended and I'm walking back to my room. I got some freebie. <laughs> got this like tote bag. And brochures and... Hmm. <gasps> There's a post-it. The quality is so good. And this is the pen. Do you guys know this drink? Bubbly? It looks so good, right? I don't know, to me, it tastes like literally sparkling water. I should have read, it says sparkling water. It's not soda, it's just mm. sparkling water with a hint of blueberry. Mm. What should I watch while eating this? It's really important to choose what I'm watching while I'm eating some things. This is my favorite current TV show. It's called Teachers. Oh, taste really like ocha. Ocha in Japanese is like tea. So. At first, it's like mango, and then after a few seconds, it's like green tea. I actually love it though. <laughs> 